Welcome to 15 Steps to Personal Freedom, Part 6, a Binner Pre-Pesach Special. Okay, so we've done Step 5. We've gone through the recitation of the whole Haggadah. That's a very, very critical part of this journey. We're experiencing the holiness of the night. We're confident we can do it. We're celebrating it. We're immersing ourselves. We're engaging. And we've just spent a lot of time challenging ourselves, acknowledging, sharing with others, communicating, discovering the child within us. And we've finished the Magid. When we finish the Magid, we drink another cup of wine because we've now stepped up, we've elevated ourselves to yet another level of personal freedom. And then comes step six. Step six is Rochza. Rochza is when we once again wash our hands. This time, we wash our hands with a bracha, with a blessing. Because as we talked about when we washed our hands the first time, washing our hands is a symbol of purification. It's a symbol of letting go. Part of the process of personal freedom is not just to engage in the positive, but to engage in the positive does require sacrifice. It requires us to let go of old habits. It requires us to let go of those things which we now identify as being negative, to try and minimize the negative character, personality traits that we have, the negative things that we might do in order to engage in a whole new positive reality. But this time, we wash with the bracha. Washing with the blessing means that now we are confident that the purification is not just symbolic as it was the first time. It's not just a commitment. Now the purification is real. We're actually starting to have the ability to let go of some of this stuff that we don't want in order to move to the next positive step. And you know, it's interesting that when we wash our hands, which is a symbol of purification, we wash the hands. Water is purifying, but we don't necessarily immerse ourselves completely in water. There is that concept as well in the Torah, but not in the Seder night. We just wash our hands. Hands is a symbol of action. You know, sometimes we want to let go of negative traits. We want to let go of negative habits, but we're not quite there yet emotionally. I'm still angry with that person. I don't want to just start making up with them or talking to them. I still don't feel inspired to pray or to learn, but I know I should. I still don't feel enthused to get up on time in the morning and I still want to sleep in. The, the lesson of Rochza is we need to let go of something negative and engage in a positive action even if we're not there in our heart or in our mind. We might just be there in action. The power of practical purification is amazing. When we purify ourselves just behaviorally, on a behavior level, when we do an action that is positive, when we engage in an action which lets go of a negative trait and immerses ourselves and engages in something positive with a blessing that is so powerful that it draws the heart into the experience and it draws the mind into the process and everything follows the action. So step six of purification is that when you start to feel that you're really connecting to the message of personal freedom, rochza, wash with the blessing, commit on at least on a behavior level to let go of something which you now believe and now identify to be negative and engage in something new that is positive. Have a wonderful day.